Hey guys, in this video, I've included some tips and shortcuts and tricks you can use to calculate in combination. And some of these might help you really improve your speed in calculating combination. Some of these you might already know, some you might not. Anyway, so here we go. Here we have 7 choose 2. Let's go and apply the formula. And here we have n factorial, n minus r factorial, and r factorial. This is n, this is r. So just doing it the traditional way once. We have 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on top. n minus r is 5, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. r is 2, so we have 2 and 1. Here you notice the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is the same as the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in the 7 factorial, everything after the 5. So they can actually cancel out. And all that's left is 7 times 6 over 2. You cancel the 2 with the 6, and you get 21 for your answer. A really quick way to do this is actually, so for the top, you can just look at the, look at the n, and then that's the number you're going to start with. And then you're going to go as many times as r on the top. So this here means going twice, so 7 and 6 on top. And in the bottom, you're going to start with r, which is 2, and then go down to, as, to, to 1. So here you have 7 times 6 over 2, and that comes out with 21. And that's way faster than listing it out. Let's, let's do a couple more examples with this so it's, more, it's, it's, it's a little more clear. So let's say we have something like 8 choose 4. Again, on top, we're going to start with n, which is 8. We're going to go r times, which is 4 times. So 8, 7, 6, 5, that makes 4 times. In the bottom, we're going to do 4. We're going to start with 4, and then we're going to go all the way down to 1. Here we can cancel the 4 and 2 with the 8, the 3 here with the 2. So 2 times 5 is 10, so quickly that comes out to 70. See, I can... I. When when you when you get used to doing it this way, you can actually do it faster than cal than typing the cal typing combination into the calculator. And here, let's do one more example. So let's say we have seven choose five. Here again, we start with seven. We go five times, so we have seven six five four three, and in the bottom we have five four three two one. 5 cancel, 4 cancel, 3 cancel, 2 cancel with the 6, so that's 3, and that's also 21. Here's another thing you might notice. 7 choose 2, and 7 choose 5, it's really the same thing. So what? why is that they're the same? And, wh well, more like, what? what's the trick you can tell that they're the same? Well, here, if you look at the difference between 7 and 2, that's going to be 5. The difference between 7 and 5, that's actually 2. So here the difference is actually the r here, and here the difference is the r here. So here's another trick I give you. When you look at 7 and 5, you see the difference is 2. Instead of going 5 times, you can actually simply go twice. So if you just take 7 and 6 over 2 and 1, that would have been it. To show you what I mean by that, let's look at another example. Let's say we're looking at 9 choose 6. So from what I said earlier here, you can go start with 9, and you can go 6 times here, and go 6 times in the bottom. But if you notice, the difference here is actually 3. So here you can actually go, simply go 3 times instead of 6 times. So here we have 9, 8, 7, and then 3, 2, 1 on the bottom. Well, you can take you take this number and then start from here. So we have three, two, one. Three cancel with the nine. Two cancel with the eight. So here we have twelve times seven, which is eighty-four. So hopefully these tricks will help you get these done a lot faster. Just to practice. Here I'll give I'll give you one, and then you can pause the video, try to work it out the quick way and then watch me work it out the quick way. Let's say we're doing combination 10 to 7.
hopefully you have worked it out now. So the difference between 10 and 7 is 3. So it's better to use the 3 than the 7. So we're going to go start with 10 on top. We're going to go 3 times. That's 10, 9, and 8. And then in the bottom, we take this number to start with, so 3. And then we have 2 and 1. Here, that cancel, that cancel, that's going to come out to 120. A couple more tricks that you should know to make things really quick. Anything choose 1 is going to be that number itself. What I mean is 8 choose 1 is going to be 8. 10 choose 1 is going to be 10. Also, anything choose itself is going to be 1. So we have 8 choose 8 is going to be 1. 3 choose 3, that's going to be 1. And any and and from this logic, from from the from these two here, anything choose one less than itself, it's also that number. So eight choose seven is also eight. Ten choose nine is ten. So hopefully you have gotten to understand all these tricks, and hopefully you're doing combination a lot faster from now on. Thanks for watching.